The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. One of the best guys. It's uh, 9 after the hour, 7.09. Please go to the website, 710knus.com, and follow along at home. You can see these 1968 apps. Now, as you and, and the greats have said, Anne's 65 passport, like so many other things, has been destroyed. But right. if, if we look at these two, the 68 app that's up on the website, 710knus.com, there's two pages. Yes. Now, in the we have Stanley Ann's 68 app to extend her 65 passport, which has been destroyed, for an additional two years. That's right. That's the first figure. On the second yes. page of the app, Ann moves to exclude her son. Correct. And that's where the name Sue Soy Barca shows up. Shows up. Yes. What does it mean? It means that it, she was trying to get a separate passport for well, her why son. That, why that name? Because he must have had an Indonesian um, identity at this time, probably legal identity, to have Soy Barca mm. attached to his name. And Soy Barca, if you, you, know, if you analyze the the language, Indonesian language, it really means um, son of Soy Toro. And Satoru because was the, the guy that she was married to. Right. The bar oh. is the oh. bar is very much like, you know, okay. Bin Laden yeah, or right, right. Uh, yeah. John's son. Right. Yeah. Uh, the, it's when they say um, soy bar, well that's son of I see. Okay. Well, what's what's and, interesting, remember when we talked about him attending the two Muslim schools and they weren't they weren't um, it's important to say uh, that 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 you had to be every, how do I say this? Number one, you had to be a citizen of Indonesia. Yes. And then number two, you had to be a Muslim. Yes. To go, and, I mean, whether it's public school or private school, you had. And in fact, that's right. And Wayne Wayne Madsen, when he was over there, brought me back the laws in Indonesia. And I've had them translated. It was very clear that the only way Obama, as a child, mm -hmm. got into the schools that he was enrolled in in Indonesia was if the if if Sartoro, his stepfather, could mm -hmm. take him over and say, "This is my legal son." Right. And so, he wasn't going to get the schools unless he was an Indonesian citizen. Yeah. So, I mean, and, and they weren't on, they weren't madrasas. That's important. They were they, not madrasas. But they were. Well, these were. Yeah. Well, they were. One was even a Catholic school. That's right. <laughs> but okay. they offered Islamic instruction, mm -hmm. and Obama was enrolled in the Islamic instruction in the Catholic school. Much like this, uh, this effort now to make Muslim holidays into American public schools, which is being pressed on Barack Obama right now. But the same thing is true. You, they were Muslim schools. You had to be a citizen of Indonesia, and you had to be at least proclaimed to be a Muslim. So See, this, this was this was after the period of 1965 right. when the Suharto uh, revolution had a coup d'état, really, mm -hmm. had over a CIA engineered coup d'état. Mm -hmm. right. right. And by the way, um, uh, Subak is uh, is really. Um, uh, he is identified with CIA by okay. Sukarno, who's overthrown. And when they, with the revolution, the Muslims took over. Mm -hmm. They killed the PKI, which mm -hmm. were the communists. Mm -hmm. They killed Christians. Mm -hmm. And so the surviving power in Indonesia after 1965 was Muslim. And they restated the laws so that you know you couldn't... They really were anti-Christian at this point. So, if I um, could, if I'm going to come back to the... And by the way, have you seen the picture of the founder? Yes. As a young man, how remarkably he, he looks, looks like, like a... He looks like Obama. He's like, I know, it's, yeah, I, have, it's crazy. I have not figured that out at I, all. I, the re no. it looks resemblance like is uncanny. Jerry Corsi is with us. Our website, 710knus.com. You'll see, first of all, to make the case, the certificate of live birth, where the race of the father says African, it's impossible. Now... The other one is the second page of the application, and both of the pages are up there, and this is good work by this fellow Nick Chase, and Nick Chase gets into freedom of information and gets, you have to know exactly what to ask for, so they did. So the Barack Hussein Obama, is he Saturo? Who is he? Sir, Sir, Sir Baca from his passport, and the item's been crossed out. Now, one of the things that we're going to listen to here in the next guest is that Maybe on, <clears throat> excuse me, on the advice from the consulate, and which, and he's seven at the time, so it would leave him passportless, so it doesn't happen. Is that fair? Uh, it's possible, Peter. But as I look at that passport application, she followed the instructions to get a right. separate passport, and I would think she got a separate passport because 
uh, little Barry starts traveling on his own back to the United States, and she would have had to have a passport for him. Okay. But he would travel on an Indonesian passport. I think she got him an Indonesian passport, no. or she may have attempted to get him a U.S. passport as an Indonesian citizen. It okay. might have been denied. Now, remember when he made he made the speech, and no one ever knew who he traveled with or who he went with when he went to Pakistan. They were his roommates at Columbia, and remember the Colombian policy at the time was foreign nationals lived together, roomed together, and he lived with two Pakistani Muslim guys at Columbia. We're led to believe that, but those records have been suppressed. Having said that, then he says, well, I went to, he goes to Pakistan. Remember, he makes the speech in San Francisco that he, quote, went back to Indonesia first to, quote, visit his mother. Well, yes. his mother wasn't there. She was already back in Hawaii. She was right. not there. So that was a lie. And then it leads the, you know, the, the proto-Obama people to say he went to Jakarta to get his passport renewed because traveling to Pakistan at that time, for an American citizen, it wasn't illegal, but it was advised not to go. Well, and, and did he it, go it, there? On, on, did he go there on his citizenship passport from Indonesia? And he's a grown it, man. Uh, it, see, first of all, I think that for, uh, one thing about Obama: was records of himself and his discussions of his life, it's all messed up. Yeah. Obama frequently makes mistakes in his personal history. Uh, Janie Scott's book says Obama went back to Indonesia any number of times to visit the mother through college. My I guess has always been that Obama had an Indonesian passport because of the way he was traveling. He was going to Singapore. Oh, yeah. He went to Pakistan. Uh, it appears he went to India. Obama seems to have traveled very widely and not fully documented. In other words, we don't have the full record of all the trips Obama made in these you know, years through college or through maybe but, even through Harvard. Or who he went with. Or who he went with, or what he was doing, or you know, it's, or what passport he traveled on, because we don't have Obama's. We have some of the mm-hmm. mother's passports, right. but we don't have any of Obama's passports mm-hmm. except for the most current. And that's the one that was even. Remember that picture? And when yes. they showed it, and it was they distorted well, the numbers. There was craziness. And remember also that the current head of the CIA, is uh, it, kind of Brennan, is it, is it, his his. Private security force was oh. found breaking into the passport records right. in 2008 right. before the election, right. getting Barack Obama's and the they, they get, grabbed some, I believe, from Clinton mm-hmm. and Hillary and from McCain. Mm-hmm. But the report coming out was it was done to sanitize Obama's passport and records. And of course, seen, we've, seen it, we've seen it before. Brennan is now head of the CIA, yeah. Yeah. was brought into the White House as a counterterrorism expert. Uh, is himself fluent in Islam, Mm -hmm. has given endless speeches in Mm -hmm. support of Islam, Mm -hmm. Uh, widely speculated he may have at some point in his life converted to Islam, Mm -hmm. Uh, Brennan's heading the CIA. Uh, All of this stuff has never been fully explained. That's the problem, is Mm -hmm. that these questions have been raised, they've never been answered. We still do not have Barack Obama's passport records. We still do not have his travel records. We don't know medical when, records, school records, school yeah, records, uh, uh, loan records, grade, uh, all of it, yeah. all of it. None of that's ever been forthcoming. So and probably, you know, probably much of it's been destroyed. I mean, or attempted to be destroyed. But this is looked at objectively and from a distance. Barack Obama appears to be like a CIA created yeah. person with a fictional identity right. or partially fictionalized identity What? what, what that is you, really undiscernible. Jerry Corsi is with us. What would you leave us with this morning? Now, we put up on the website, 710knus.com. Jerry, were you ever able to find anyone in the time period, five, six years before, five, six years after, born in Hawaii, who had a father's race of African on their birth No, family? that's, that's uh, still unique. And, you know, the, the two things about the, this whole case... Uh, Fuddy refused to re- release mm-hmm. original documents out of the file. We've seen no 19th century. We've seen computer printouts and modern-day mm-hmm. computer verifications of birth. We have not seen the original records even today. And secondly, the hospital. First, they, the family said it was one hospital, then they, it was Queens Special, Medical. Right. So they switched it over to Capulani. Right, right. Despite repeated efforts, I've even gone to Capulani myself. Capulani refuses to show any records. No. And I've been told, no hospital in Hawaii 
appears to have original records of Ann yeah. Dunham, and, and there's no photographs of Ann Dunham being pregnant. Yeah. This, you know, the I R uh, the I N S. Yeah. The INS did not believe that Barack Obama Sr. was the father. The two never lived together as husband and wife. Never were married. Never were married. No marriage certificate ever been found. She leaves for Seattle when the baby's about two weeks of age. And lied about it. And even yeah. Jan, yeah. Jan, Jan, Janie, Janie Scott's yeah, book kind of fudges that, yeah. but grudgingly admits that Ann Dunham was not in Hawaii when Barack Obama Sr. Barack Obama Sr. gives interviews, mm-hmm. doesn't mention when he's in Hawaii, doesn't mention that he is married right. or has a child. None of, none of his colleagues ever forgets even... To yeah. put it, forgets to put his child and his wife on yeah. his passport visa extensions. Yeah. I mean, it goes on and on and on, but the, the credibility that Barack Obama Sr. is really the father is highly thin, and there is some, I've always maintained, there is some deep birth mystery about yeah. who Obama is, and we still we've we 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 have all the evidence that a mystery exists, yeah. but we don't have yet the solution of it. And you know, I want to see these here. pictures from Indonesia is another bizarre another element me, in the puzzle. Let me do this. We we have a time constraint this morning. Yes, on of Monday course. Monday I'm going to have you back. Sure, and we'll see. I'm going to what, try to publish this article on yeah, Monday. Yeah, I want. Doing uh, yeah, I'll right wanna, we'll read, and then I'll have you back on Monday, Doctor. Have a great weekend. You are okay. you're, you're such a worker. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth. Or people with something to hide.